Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Kids Connection video today. So glad that you are here with me today because I'm going to need some help, I think. Yeah, so I am going to be working on a maze. M-A-Z-E. And I'm hoping that you can help me. Do you know what a maze is? Well, I'm going to show you in a minute. A maze, you've probably seen these before, right? Is where it's a piece of paper and it has a bunch of different lines on it. And then you start at the start with your pencil. And then you have to, or your pen, and you have to find your way out of the maze, right? Did you know that years ago in um, places, especially like in Europe, that they had mazes that they actually made out of shrubs. So out of like low growing little, little trees or bushes and they would cut them, but they would be just high enough that you couldn't see over them. Um, I guess one of the Harry Potter movies has a maze that they're going through, right? And so you walk through and you're going around and, and you really can't see where you're going. You can only see uh, right in front of you. Maybe you've been in a corn maze before where they make a little path in the middle of a cornfield. And then again, all you can see is just the corn. And then, oh, it turns this way. Okay. Oh, it turns this way. And then, oh, sometimes you can't get out right away. Sometimes you got to go back. So we're going to talk about this today in having to do with God and God's will for our lives. So let's work on a maze together. Will you help me with that? I would appreciate it. So here is my maze. Thank you so much again for your help. So see how there's an arrow here and it's saying that I should kind of come in here and then I want to go up over there. So maybe you can help me with this. All right. So I'm going to start here. And I think I'm going to go right. Is that okay? So I'm going to go this direction. All right. Should I go straight or down? I'm going to go down. Uh-oh. Already? Look, already I've gotten in problems. Uh-oh. This isn't going to go well, I don't think. All right. Well, let me try again. Okay. So I'm going to go here. How about if I try this way? Okay. Oops. Wait a minute. That way. Ah! Look, I'm stuck. I can't take my pen any further. That's what a maze does. You can't go over their other lines. Ah, this is so confusing. Okay, so now I'm going to go this way. All right, here we go. Oh, look at me. Now I'm cooking. Look at that. Look, at, look how close that arrow is. I'm going to make it. Yay! Which way should I go, you guys? Should I go up? All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, ah. All right, how about this way? Oh, I'm stuck again. That means I gotta go all the way back the way that I came. Ugh. That's frustrating. Right, wait, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There's the arrow. Oh, I can't reach the arrow. Oh, no. So, I started up here and I, I kind of, Went this way a little way, but then I took a wrong turn, didn't I? Oh, and I took a wrong turn, right? And sometimes life is like that, isn't it? That we try things, we think, oh, this is going to work out really well. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to be on this baseball team. Yeah, I, I tried out, and this is going to be great. And oh, I didn't make the team. Oh, oh, okay, but hang on, wait a minute, because instead of doing baseball, I'm going to do soccer. And look, I'm doing really well at soccer, and I'm having fun playing soccer, right? And then, you know, you go on, oh, I'm going to be a, a, a soccer player the rest of my life. Oh, maybe you fall and break your leg or something crazy, right? And you go, oh, I got to go back, and I got to try, and I've got to go back to the doctor, and I have to pay close attention to what he says, and then, okay, now I'm back to, oh, wait a minute, my leg's better now, and hey, guess what? I made it on this baseball team. So do you see how that very often our lives can be um, uh, confusing, kind of like a maze where we're not sure where to go, right? But we always know that God can be here to help us, right? So mazes can be easy sometimes, mazes can be difficult sometimes. Um, sometimes you've gotta change direction, right? We started going one plant one way, and then we oh we hit the brick wall, so we had to go back, right? Um, sometimes it's when the maze gets too difficult, we have to ask somebody for help. 
right? So that also happens sometimes. And who's somebody that we can always ask for help? God, right? Yeah, God. Well, let's try this again, all right? So instead of going right, for those of you who wanted me to go this direction, let's try that. You ready? All right, so here we go. I'm going to go around. Do, I should play some music. Do, 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 do. What do you think? Oh, I can tell already. Can you? Look, watch. You can look ahead. That's going to be a dead end, right? And sometimes we can we can look and decide that right ahead of time. We can go, you know, those boys or girls that asked me to be friends with them? Maybe I should, you know, hang out with them and be friends. But then sometimes we can look way ahead and we can go, but you know what? Those kids are always doing things that are really not very nice. You know, those kids are, are you know, pretty often maybe, um, I don't know, mean to other kids, or I've seen those kids steal of something, somebody's lunch. So you know what, I, I, I don't wanna be, I don't necessarily wanna think those are gonna be the best friends I could choose. So already I can see maybe that's not a good choice. It's gonna be what's called like a dead end choice. So let's keep going, okay? All right, so here we go. How am I doing? I'm gonna make it, there's the arrow. I didn't make it again. Wow, what do you guys think? Should I come back this way? Is that gonna take me around? No, another dead end. So sometimes we know, we can see that maybe something we tried, maybe it just wasn't the right timing. Maybe it just wasn't the way that God wanted us to do it. Like I said, maybe when you you know tried out for that baseball team and you didn't make it, maybe the next time you're gonna be stronger. Maybe you're gonna have more experience. Maybe you're gonna have more confidence. And maybe that's when the right time. All right, well, so we better try this again, right? We know that's not gonna work. Are you with me on this? How am I doing? All right, now some of you maybe already saw this last time, but remember how last time I went up here and then I came back? Probably some of you were going, no, Pastor Jenny, look, look. All you've gotta do is come this way and ta-da! We made it out of the maze. So thank you so very much for your help with that maze. It took me a while, right? I, I kind of had some troubles, didn't I? Um, it's not a real pretty maze, is it? Look at all the different tries I had up, you know, up and down and over and across. But at the same time, you know what? Sometimes we learn from those times where we tried to go one way and it just didn't work. Sometimes God wants us to go certain places or do different things so that we can learn. We can learn how to be a better person. We can learn um, what are our strengths? What are some things that we're really good at? What's something you're really good at? Is there a particular sport maybe? Or music? Or art? Or maybe you're a really good friend? Maybe you've got a really good memory? Well, if you hadn't done some things and tried some things, you maybe would never know that. So that's why like when we're adults, I always encourage people to not be frustrated or to say, oh, I made so many mistakes or oh, I did that for nothing. Because every time that we do something, um, it's, it's, and we're trying to be a better person from it, not that we choose maybe horrible things to, to do, um, but if we're trying to be a better person with it, um, God will honor that, I think. And God will also help us to learn from that. Oh, you know what? I learned, I, I did this, and I tried to be on the, um, I tried to ice skate. But you know what? I learned I really don't, I'm not very good at ice skating. And you know what? I'm not really good at it either. Uh, and don't really like it, kind of. But I tried it, so now I know, right? Or, you know, I tried this other thing that I really didn't think was going to work out well. And my goodness, guess what? I am really good at ping pong. Did you know that I, speaking about myself, Pastor Jenny, am freakishly good at ping pong? Yeah, go figure. I think it's hand-eye coordination from playing the piano for so many years. But anyway, we've got a new ping pong table in the basement at church. Did you know that? Um, so someday when you're downstairs, when we're back in worship together, and uh, you're, it's not quite time yet for Sunday school to begin, or maybe right after Sunday school, maybe you can check it out and play ping pong. And, and if I'm free, maybe I'll play ping pong with you. But anyway, so we all have different things that we can learn about ourselves, and God walks along beside us on that.
So I hope that you remember that God is with you. And even if there are some wrong turns or some different turns in your life, that you go, okay, I learned from that. And you just keep, keep moving on, right? And you try something new. Maybe you didn't know that you were really good at drawing. Or maybe you're really good at baking. Who knows? But God will work with you. And then when you get older and you're doing even bigger decisions, what college should I go to? What, what, what major should I choose? What should I do with my life? Should I marry this person or not, right? That you'll be used to having God alongside you and praying is always a good idea if you've got a big decision of a choice, which way do I turn, is to, to pray about it, right? Pray about it and to ask somebody that you really trust their opinion maybe your parents or your grandparents, a church friend, um, somebody that you really trust. And you can ask them their opinions too. And always just, you know, pray to God and he'll, he'll help you. I really do believe. I found it over and over in my life. And I know that he loves you so much. So I have a, uh, a maze that I'm going to print or put the link with the, this video. So that way, if you would like to do a maze on your own, uh, I probably will put this maze on there too. But now that you know how to do this maze, it'll just take you a minute probably to do it. Not even a minute. You could time yourself. And then this one's kind of fun because it's the, the dog trying to find the cat because they're going to play together. So anyway, so find, if you want, you can find those links and print those out and uh, have fun doing a maze this week. So do you mind folding your hands? And let's pray. Can you repeat after me? Dear God, life can be a maze. But thank you for helping me so I have nothing to be afraid of. Thanks for loving me and walking with me. Amen. All right. Well, thanks and have fun with your maze. Bye.